Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Faction 500 video, I'm going to be showing you how I do the Black Heart using the Factions team on level 500. First battle, I'm going to be using three times and Lysha to boost up the power of our team. My horde is on level 130 for this, so not crazy high, level 500. Uh, five battles for this minimum, straight down the dagger, straight to the point. Right, the team I'm going to use for this is three times a Bile Blackheart and a Deathblade. If we look at the other options we have available, let's go to Kingdoms, change it to the Blackheart. Good skill stop. Right, so the ones that didn't make this team were Night Arrow and a Plague Crafter. And let's take a look why. Well, a Plague Crafter doesn't do any damage and she has a 4% chance to slay. A random enemy boosted by 4% chance for each Doom Skull. Night Arrow does do damage, it is normal damage, but has just a 3% chance to slay them, boosted by 3% for each Doom Skull. And Death Blade deals true damage and more damage than Night Arrow, and obviously more than Plague Crafter because she doesn't do any, just diseases people, and has a 5% chance to slay them, boosted by 5% for each Doom Skull. So better damage, more damage and a better percentage chance to kill. So that is absolutely going to be a winner. So we'll take Deathblade over these two any old day of the week. And Bile Blackheart explodes half magic plus one, then gains the same amount of attack, life, and armor boosted by all enemies previously killed. But one of the main benefits of him is that third trait. Convert any two skulls to doom skulls when my turn begins. So that, with three of these, is going to be... Should be changing six skulls to Doom Skulls when his turn begins. Really, really cool. This boosts up the chance of Deathblade getting that automatic kill. So that is going to be the strategy. We're going to get Deathblade charged up, do that true damage, and have that percentage chance to kill when there's plenty of Doom Skulls on the board, courtesy of Bile Blackheart. Right, and we can charge it up by exploding those gems, where at the same time we gain those attack, life, and armor benefits. Alright, so let's dive into the game. Let's take a look at the banner quick. Going to go for the sunken banner for this. Plus two blue, plus one red, minus one green. Alright, let's jump in. There we go, we've got those doom skulls appeared. Anything too fantastic in our favour right now. Grab some red. Lots of Doom Skulls there. We need our bottom troop charged up so we can do this to explode those gems, gain that attack life and armour. Really helps when we get these skull matches. Take some of the hits normally when they're there. Let's cast this. See if we get lucky. Not quite. So we go again. Explode gems. Gaining attack life and armor all the time. Take a look out for any possible cascades. I'll take that though. He's nearly dead already. Let's go again. As long as you keep on exploding gems with that guy, you're going to just keep on buffing up your life, getting more armor, getting more attack, charging up the team. Nothing too deep about this strategy, has to be said, but hey, it's all about making life easy with these things. Let's go again, we can do this if we want, but I'd rather do this, get the top troop, top troop mega buffed. And can we get that for our bottom troop? Yes, we can. We'll take this skull back, because it's so good. When you can kill the troops so easy, you're not actually relying on that this lucky chance to come in, but we've got a plus 40% boost now, so this is like nearly 50-50 chance to kill. Bang, dead. Stage one down. And on to the next. Always take a look at the enemy, see what is going on with them, see if they've got any annoying traits which are going to hinder you, because you may want to swap out some of your medals. Your medals is the one thing you can change during these battles. Poison, not a big deal. Yeah, nothing to worry about there, so we'll crack on with this team. Nice. 
Again, all about that top troop at first. Gonna get that charged up as quick as we can. Got no blue, but let's take some red though instead. Take this red here, because it's not gonna leave my skull here. And our top troop will be ready to go. Alright, let's cast this. Explode gems. Getting buffs. There's only four Doom Skulls there at the moment, so the boost is only plus 20. So, one in four chance of that working right now. We'll wait around. Be patient. Make sure that we make the most of our potential cast. But saying that, there's not much of our colours there. Right, we'll uh, actually do. Let's do that. More Doom Skulls now, more chance. 35% chance. Let's pick on Rockworm, see if we get lucky. Not then. That's okay, let's cast this. Let's get that top troop ready to go again. More explosions, more life, more armor, more attack. There's the Doom Skulls, 25% boost. Nah, we'll wait one more round. There we go, it's a bit more like it. Literally a 50-50 chance now. Let's pick on their second Rockworm, because it's about to cast. Bang, you are dead, matey boy. Oh, my top troop took a bit of a wallop then. Got to be a bit careful, just because we gain those buffs to life and attack. You can't be just completely reckless. Let's change them colours for some that we like. Take this chance to gain back some of our life and get even more attack. Oh, they got another sneaky little hit in there. That's why you got to be a bit careful. So you're careful though, but when you cast this, obviously you are winging it a bit because you don't know how the gems are going to drop afterwards. So you have to be a little bit careful now. Got to avoid unexpected hits. Only 25% chance to kill. Let's see if we can get rid of him. No. I'll grab that though. Alright, we've got a chance this. Hopefully we don't leave my skull hit afterwards. We didn't. In fact, we're going to end up getting rid of them, which is nice. Give that a big wallop as well. Obviously you can look around a little bit more than what I am. You don't want to be as be playing quite as quickly as I am. I like to play these delves quite quick. Don't want it to be a super long video. Oh, thought I was avoiding them giving them a skull here. Then, then we ended up giving them one. Right, we're about to get hit again if I take that. So we may as well wing it. Blow up the board. See what happens afterwards. Happy with that situation. See if we can finish them off. 20% boost. So 25% overall. Didn't quite work out. Doesn't matter. We'll go again. I'll grab some of that. That's going to be four match. And drop down to a skull hit. Second stage done. Alright, third one. What have we got? Ooh, got to be a little bit careful here. Really dangerous. Entangle and Hunters mark the first enemy, then deal magic plus two damage to them. And if there are 13 or more Dream Gems, gain an extra turn, but does double skull damage versus entangled enemies. So if we cast the way we just did, which was a little bit reckless, then we can find ourselves in a lot of bother absolutely straight away. So we want to kind of control the game a bit more. This time we want to get rid of this Diable first. It only uses 8 mana as well, which is not a lot. That can get charged up in no time whatsoever. The other troops aren't quite as dangerous. But I don't like that Entangle. Entangle, that's uh, not very nice. So I'm going to swap into a couple of Orpheus medals for this. This is the cool thing about Delves. Can change your medals in these. Uh, what shall I go for? I think I'm going to go for two Orpheus and just one Nisha. 
shake off the effects of those entangles if they come along. All right. Well, it'll be a little bit more cautious on this fight. You've got to adjust your, your playstyle to some of these delves based on who you are fighting. Do not want to set up that top troop for an easy kill. On me. That is not the plan. All right. Don't use green either, so it's not like we can take anything away from it. Let's uh, move this skull further down, slightly out of harm's reach. And let's get our blue for our top troop. And a bit more. Got to take that, really. Don't want to get walloped by them. I'll we'll grab that first. See if that drops anything down. Right, we're not going to avoid any sort of skull hit here because if we take either this one, this one, or this one, we are going to get a wallet back. Regardless, even with the little explosion that Doom Skull has caused, we're still not going to be affecting this one up here. We can obviously just cast this. We can wing it a bit. We're going to take a skull hit anyway. Let's do this. So that way we avoid taking a skull hit, which is kind of what we want to do while we've got this troop here. We want to get rid of this one before we start going a bit crazy. Got 25% boost, so 30% chance overall. Yeah, let's try it. No. Roughly a 1 in 3 chance. Didn't work that time. It's okay. Let's get our top troop with a bit more attack. There you go, we've set him up for a skull hit, you see there. And now, there's, again, the same situation where there's a skull hit either side, which we can't do anything about unless we cast this to blow up the board. And hope for kindness. And we got kindness. We are happy with that. Want more green up here. Let's take some... Blue and green, I think. I'm too worried about that. What have we got now? 35% chance. But we are one skull hit away from dealing with that thing up top, so... I'm ready to blow up the board anyway, so I'm going to risk this on... The bottom troops, see if we get lucky. Didn't. Fair enough. Be that way. Let's get more attack life and random skull hits. Happy days. Quite a lot of skulls there now, so... Try and get our bottom troop charged up. You're always risking it a bit when you cast this, because obviously you can give the enemy skull hits, but the good thing about this sort of delve is you can actually play it quite fast, if you know what I mean, because some of it's luck-based. Some of the times you'll do that explosion and you'll just land on your feet and get loads of mana back. Those nice buffs. And get some skull drops at the same time. 295 attack now. But you can't go completely gung-ho with it, if you know what I mean. It's like controlled aggression is how I'd like to describe this kind of thing. What are they going to do? Yeah, that's not too bad. We can take that on our troops. Right, quite a few Doom Skulls there now. 45% is the boost, 50%, so 50-50 chance. Game said no. Right. Should we charge up again or should we blow up the board? See, there's so many skulls there now, it's like a risk of leaving skulls. You may as well cast this and give them a fair amount of damage, because those Doom Skulls all do damage at the same time. So another one down. Big wallop for them. Let's see if we can get our. Instant killer up. If too many skulls start appearing, it is good to cast these. 
get some of them. Don't want to do that. Don't want to give them a skull hit afterwards. Let's do some more damage. Chips away at them pretty effectively. Those Doom Skulls all add up. Not enough there though to cast our Death Blade. So we'll pick up some more damage. Or some more mana rather for our troops if we can. But not if we're going to give them a skull hit. That will give them a skull hit. No, that won't. So we'll do that. All right, so we've got another good boost here. 40% chance. Let's go for it. Got to get one in a minute. We've not had one for a while now. Oh, that was a nice one. Be gone, foul spawn. Be careful of this Fenrir. It's got 250 odd attack at the moment. And that boost will obviously go on itself now. So we have to proceed with mild caution. Or not. <laughs> Go for it, see what happens. We're close to killing them as well now. Right, can we get the instant kill at the last moment? 40 is the boost. 45, come on, we've had loads fail. And we got one eventually. Thank you, Tar. Right, so the Legendary room, let's see what we got. Coral Golem. He's paying attention to the traits. The spell explodes a gem, submerges a random ally for every green gem destroyed, gains life and armor. So no danger for that regarding actual damage, but obviously these troops do hit hard regarding skull damage. Nothing to worry about on status effects. Nothing to worry about on status effects. They do silence us if this gets to cast. But by the time that gets to do anything, hopefully we'll be in control of the game. Nobody else is using red though, so that will get first dibs on red. But three of our team uses red, so we can deny them red all the time as much as we can. It's not a hideous amount of damage. Right, so um, I'm going to... Leave it as it is, I think, because I'm slightly concerned about that silence. When that casts, I want to shake that off as fast as possible. And it's not like two Nishes give us a huge benefit at this level. The benefits from the Orpheus medals are potentially better. Alright, so yeah, let's go. Let's just check something. Yeah, we do damage from Skulls by 50%, so... Hmm. Alright. Let's try and deal with that top troop as fast as we can. Uh, blue lightning gem here. Grab that. Always take these skull hits at this level. Do not want to take humongous damage from their skull wax. It's a thing with this Delvey C, like, um, <clears throat> obviously when you cast this, you do gain that attack life and armor, as well as explode the gems, but it's down to luck whether you leave the enemy a skull hit or not, so if you cast this, it's in the hands of the Gems of War Gods, whether it sets you up for a whack or not, and it decided it would, so got to be really careful now, because if we take one or the other, we're still going to be leaving the enemy a skull hit. No, we can't. We can take it this way. And leave him one anyway. That's the way it goes. Alright, so let's give them another... Oh, another wallop. We're hanging in there because of our reduction from skulls by 25%. Alright, so... Not many skulls there. Got to be really unlucky to cast this and set them up with a skull hit. Oof, nearly did though. Luckily we've got an extra turn out of it. But it's quite a fun delve as well because it's not that much 
skill based or strategy based that a lot of it is you know a little bit of luck how well does your luck go when you explode the board like this if you get some skull hits afterwards happy days same as this and you get it on the highest amount works really well you can still cast it on a lower amount of skulls on the board and see if you get lucky so we've got a 40% boost now let's see if we can get rid of that and we can lovely stuff should have possibly got rid of this one first because it does the silence but the sake about the bottom one was just looking at me funny I've decided to pick on him hmm all good right take matches without leaving a skull here or blow up the board when there's a lot of skulls there I do prefer to blow up the board because as you saw maybe the previous battle it's very easy for skulls to drop down and receive skull hits back there's that annoying silence not too bothered about it though it didn't cast on my top troop which was the main concern Take this blue safely. Without the possibility of giving him a skull bash. Hmm. Put up the board again. Or we'll take a colour we don't need. Let's do more explodey stuff. That worked out okay. Uh, I'm going to take this blue this way rather than red this way. If I take a red this way, the skull drops down to where either, either of these brown ones are, we're going to give the enemy a skull hit. If I take it this way, it feels like there's less chance because a skull has to come in that middle slot to give them a skull hit. That's going to be okay because we're going to get a skull bash out of that. We're chipping away at that top troop. Right, lots of Skulls there now, but they are about to cast double the number of blue on the board. But there's only four there, so the chances are this is not going to loop for them. So we can take a chance on killing that. Thank you very much. And they wasted their spell at the same time. Happy days. Ooh, didn't like that very much though. That gave me a bit of payback there. Right, let's get our top troop ready again. <clears throat> Oh, this is quite tempting. Only a skull drop down to that bottom one can give him a skull hit. Whew, it nearly did. Right, lots of skulls there again. 55 is a boost, so 60% chance of killing this. So, really good chance. But it didn't work. Quite a lot of blue there this time, so let's cast this again. 55 damage from all those Doom Skulls. We did give him a skull hit afterwards, though. That wasn't... The plan. Don't want to take that one. It's going to give me a skull hit. So we'll take it this way. Remove some blue. Gives their sea troll less chance of working when that spell casts. And we gave him a skull hit anyway. The AI decided we were going to get a skull hit no matter what. Right, come on. 30%. 35% overall. Let's see if we can get rid of that thing. No, it's like... It's hanging in there like a bad smell, that thing up top. Let's grab that first. Whoa, nice double skull hit there. And that was nice. We actually got a little bit of luck on our side. All right, let's grab some more armor, more attack. Another skull hit afterwards. But providing you get away with most of them, you can get a nice buff up in attack. And... and and life and armor all the time so it is quite tanky or bile mainly because of that reduced damage from skulls by a 25 percent but notice i'm not casting these ones i'm only sort of uh going to cast these if we need to if we get to a critical amount of life or it works out that the enemy with one cast could kill one of our our troops down here then we'd cast one of these to boost up our our life but apart from that 
be casting on the top one. I might as well grab that first, see what happens. Ooh, this might give him a skull hit afterwards, but no real choice. Well, I could. I could try and kill him. 55% chance! Huh. Now, let's do that, because the Doom Skull messes up the alignment. And that will wipe him out. No need to take chances sometimes. Go with the more favourable odds. Right, now let's dive into the last room. So we're up against the Biled Blackheart ourselves now. So this is going to create even more skulls every turn, because he's going to be adding a couple when his turn starts. And he gains that attack life and armour as well, but he's first on the list. Deathblade has the same chance to kill as we do, but they've got a, a Playcrafter and a Light Arrow there as well, so they do have those percentage chances to kill. But same as us... Nothing really to worry about regarding bad traits. I mean, she does disease that slows down our mana gen, but we create so much mana when we cast these, it's not really a threat. So I'm going to change back to full Nisha for this battle. All right, last one. Let's jump in. Not the enjoyable one, this. It's, like I say, there's not too much to think about on it. It's just risk versus reward kind of thing. And is the game going to be favourable to you when you explode the board? Things like that. Let's have a little look around. Make sure we're doing the right thing when we can. I mean, we'll take some of these... Brown away now when it gets offered because their bottom troop uses brown. Quite a lot of skulls on the board, so we're gonna get our first attack life boost. That worked out quite nice. Attack life and armor. Not enough there to justify this right now. It's alright, 35% chance, one in three, but we wait one more round if we can make it a lot better right there they do have a troop that uses green so I'll take that away wait one more round get some more doom skulls up there give ourselves a better chance of that instant slay all right let's try and pick on their death blade let's get rid of their main oh he's stealthy isn't he of course let's pick on her then there she goes. 1,007 damage. Awesome stuff. Um, no colours we're using. The top troop is ready to blow up the board. So we're going to receive quite a lot of damage from all these Doom Skulls. Oh, unless they decide not to. In that case, we'll do it then. There you go, you take 55 odd damage. See if we can make this into a 4 match anywhere, but we can't. Becomes a bit of a bloodbath now, this stage of the game against these ones, because this troop can keep on doing this. They've got a chance to instant kill us with this. We could do with get an armor, our death blade up at the same time. I'm actually going to explode the board over this, see if we get any lucky charge on our bottom troop or a 4-match. And we got the 4-match, which is good. Wouldn't have minded my bottom troop getting charged though, but that's just being a bit greedy perhaps. Alright, so with no Doom Skulls on the board, and they're only going to create two the next one. This has got a low chance of working. So let's wallop him with that. We survived, that is good. Do some more explodey stuff before they do. Got another hit in. So did they. They're nearly dead though. Right, it's not going to kill them with these Doom Skulls. It's going to get roughly half of their life away. 
So let's just see if we can cheekily kill him that way instead. So we've done that true damage. <clears throat> so that sorted him out anyway. There's no need for the thoughts about slay chance. 277 attack. We'll give them a punch around the chops. That's going to bring that skull round down into there. Another chunk of damage. They set us up for that one. They're their own worst enemies right now. Let's blow up some more gems. Get some mana. Oh, we got the slay chance coming. But it's going to cost him badly with his life. Now they're just left with a not very good night arrow. I'm sorry, but you are not going to make any difference to this battle woman. This is pretty much all over. Let's blow the board to get those buffs. Might as well play quite quick now. This is the home stretch. Let's do it again then. Yeah, yeah. Not worried about you. Uh, let's wait one round. See if we can get a... Oh, that was a bit cheeky. <laughs> Slightly lower chance to come in than when we've had those higher chances. That's what can happen on this game. Gonna do 77 damage with that boost. Didn't get the, the kill, but they set us up for a skull hit. And dead. Got a bit gung ho near the end. Lost a couple of troops. Doesn't matter though, as long as you get it done, it's all good. Uh, because the one where you have to do level 500. Without dying, you can do with any any team which uses the colours which you're allowed in this delve. You don't have to do it with the faction team. Claim your rewards at the end. Say thank you very much. We'll take that and party. And yeah, on the uh, faction info bit, you can take a look at this. And the best delve with no casualties for the extra points, you can do that with any team who uses the colours that this delve allows. You don't have to do it with the faction team. So the fact that lost a couple of troops there at the end becomes irrelevant as long as you get it done well there's a the video if you enjoyed it found it useful or helpful be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button it really does help but most of all thanks for watching i'll catch you again next time bye for now